welcome back to Rage Wheels. In this week, it was raining tons outside. So, I decided to repair some stuff instead of making it. It's my normal riding stuff, like this bike light. It's not working. I'm making some rattling sounds from it. I think something is broken inside. The second thing is helmet. Helmet blinker. It's a normal helmet blinker for night riding. It's not working since few weeks. So let's check it out. This is my bike light, which I use daily for rides. I think something is broken inside. So let's open it. Oh, wait, something just fell off. Oh, is that the switch? Such a tiny little switch. I'm worried about getting a replacement for this button. Let me check around. I must be having such kind of switch. I found one switch. It's a little bit bigger than the original one. No. It's very much bigger than the original one. Now let's place the switch and get it soldered. First, we'll apply some soldering paste with a needle. And then get it soldered. Yeah, we have done it. The modes are working too. Now let's move towards the helmet blinker. Now let's open this too. First with the battery door. After running some tests, I came to know that the IC was dead. I was rather not expecting any more by reading the tag made in China. Then I remembered a YouTube hack of making strobe by using old clock. So I grabbed one clock. Now this video is little bit moving towards making stuff rather than repairing it. This is the circuit that we need. It's a basic flip-flop circuit, which has a dual polarity output. The blinker circuit has two columns, positive and negative, and six LEDs connected in parallel. Now, when we give power supply, all the six LEDs go on. I have inverted the third and fourth LED. We will be continuously changing the polarity of the two terminals. So, when first one is positive, only 1st, 2nd, 5th and 6th LED go on. And when 1st one is negative and 2nd one is positive, only the 3rd and 4th LED will go on. I have already removed the LEDs. Now, let's resolder it. Shit. I think we lost the LED terminal. Luckily, I had a red LED strip. So, I got one LED from it. After the modifications, our blinker is working pretty well. Now let's assemble it. Of course, after this, the inbuilt button won't work, so I have to remove the battery to stop the blinker. So today, there was nothing like trail building or making new things. Just we did is repair this helmet blinker. And 
this bike like and i hope you guys still enjoyed my videos and if you like my videos please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and make sure to check out the next video